Hi, Carrie. So great to see you. Hi, Heather. <laughs> what was this tool designed for and what else can it do? And look at what you've done already. Oh my goodness. So do you mind showing us some tips? Some tips. All right. Well, the big one is the biggest brush marker that I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Um, and makes the biggest mark that I've ever seen. Anything capable of making this huge mark, uh, other than a square edge, I have never seen. Yep. But the lovely thing about it is not only that it can go heavy, but it can also go pretty light. So um, to go from this to this allows calligraphers to do thick and thin strokes. They have tools like this that are quality and cheap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is amazing. So I really appreciate you uh, turning me on to them. I am now um, using them in my classes and recommending them to my students. They're quality tools, as you say, German engineered, always <laughs> yeah. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I want to ask you, Carrie, um, you've been dancing with pins for a long time. In fact, you have a book called Dancing with Pins, right? I do, and I happen to have a copy. <laughs> All right. right here. Wonderful. And so you, um, this lettering style that you use in your Dancing with Pin book, um, is this mm -hmm. something that you created or what is it based on? What are some of your influences or what's the, the style that you're using here? It's mainly uh, uh, manipul based on manipulation. Mm -hmm. um, so you're so using mainly broad edge here, right? I'm using a uh, yeah, square edge pen mm -hmm. um, because my basis is the italic mm -hmm. form. Great. So with, uh, with this pen, mm -hmm. I'm using a more a pointed brush letter form. But the, the lessons that you learn from this book is... Uh, can absolutely be um, be related to using this because it is um, it's controlling your hand but losing control. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, because there's no way that I could do this flourish if I'm trying to control it. I love it. And Carrie, you're still teaching, right? So you're teaching a lot for calligraphy guilds. And, and where are you teaching? Online? Oh, golly, in all over mm -hmm. Canada and all over the United States for different guilds. Do you mainly teach hands, like how to actually create the letter forms? Or are you teaching projects and like how to create cards or how to put those into use? I do include projects. Um, always with my class, because I find if you end up with a bunch of practice sheets, that's not going to do you any good. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I don't want to teach italic or Roman caps or foundation. I want to teach joy or um, peace or love or fear or tension. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to write the way I'm feeling inside. just developed a new class called Pen Boogie. And that's been <laughs> really fun 
So we, yeah, we learned to boogie with our pens, meaning you use all sides of it. Use the tip, you use the edge, use the flat and manipulate and corner and do all kind of fun dancing. <laughs> How great. Well, I can't wait to see where you take your big win and your flex win and see if you can keep dancing with it. We'd love to stay in touch and find out what else you've been doing with them. So definitely, definitely. Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Well, thank Good you. Good to see you.